now I'm going to write a program where I'm going to swap two values inside an array so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare an array the name of my array is array num and the size will be from 1 to 5 the data type of my array because it's numbers I'm going to make it integer then under form create I'm going to give values to the numbers in my array so I'm going to use a for loop from high to low so lowest is 1 the highest value is 5 because I'm using an array it is square brackets and I'm going to use random range to assign those values inside my array if I you use random range you must remember to add the math unit under the users on top ok so now I have random range from 1 to 100 remember there is two parameters inside random range let's add a rich edit so that we can see whether those values are actually assigned to the array ok so I'm gonna pick the random number and then I'm gonna display it in my rich edit ok lines with add is a string array num it's integer so I need to convert this whole thing from an integer to a string ok so there's my five random numbers I'm going to make use of spin edits to swap the two values around so when the user selects let's say number 1 and over here number 5 I want to swap the first number in the array with the fifth number in the array so they must swap around then and that should happen when I click on the bottom button on the bottom I'm going to change the caption of this button to swap ok so I'm going to make a temporary variable i temp ok I'm making it an integer because my data type for my array is integer so I will need to put this value temporary into this variable so they need to be the same data type so to do the swap I'm going to say i temp is equals to array num and then I'm going to use the value in the spin edit let's use spin edit 2 dot value and I put that value in item and now I can swap the two values around I say array 2 equals to array num spin edit 1 so let's, um, let's say you chose number 1 in the spin edit he's going to take the first number in the array 
and put it in the fifth position of the array and then I need to put the term variable into the position of the first array okay so I'm taking the second value saving it in itemp then I take the first value of the array overwriting the second value of the array then I put take the temp one and I put it back into the first one of the array let's test quickly so it's the first one it should be 62 I just want to swap it around with the fifth one in the array which is 45 okay. but before we just run that program let's just display it again in the reach edit so I'm say reach edit one dot lines dot clear to clear the previous content in the reach edit and I'm gonna clear I again in this procedure I'm not gonna pick a random number again I only want to display everything inside my array so I'm going to run from the first one to the last one of my array and I'm going to display it in the reach edit ok so the first one is 31 the fifth one is 90 so when I click on this button it's going to swap it's going to take this 5 and put it in itemp then you start going to take the 31 the first one the 31 you're going to put it in the position of the 90 and then it's going to take that 90 and it's going to put it in the position of the 31 okay, so it's going to take the 90 and put it in the position of the 31 okay and swap those two numbers around now I want to swap, let's say, number 2, it's so a 99, with the first one, I'm going to take the 99, put it in itemp, then it's going to take the 90, and put it in the position of where the 99 was, and then it's going to take the 99, and put it in the first position where the 90 was swap it around 